Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I do apologize for the lighting. And I'm back once again um, uploading videos for those. Um, first of all, let me just do a disclaimer. These videos for educational and informational purposes only not intended to treat, curve, diagnose, or prevent sicknesses, illnesses, or disease, or mental health issues. If you're making any lifestyle changes to your health and wellness routine for yourself or your family, please consult with your medical doctor first. Remember, I'm not an exercise expert, a fitness coach, a weight loss coach, a nutritionist. I'm someone just like you trying to lose the weight and someone just like you that desires a healthy lifestyle. So if you're um, thinking about doing any type of kind of exercises, um, changing your diet, any type of kind of workout, please check in with your doctor first or talk to a professional nutritionist or a health coach. So today we're going to still work on our upper body exercises because I understand that a lot of people that have a lot of, um, you know, such as myself, weight, um, our upper body tends to bear down on our knees and our legs. So we lose the upper body weight. Um, that's lessen um, the weight that's bared down on our knees and our legs. So for the next couple of months, we will, we're going to be working on losing the upper body weight. And then after that, we're going to focus on the lower body weight, which is our legs, strengthen our legs and um, in walking as well. So what we're going to do is um, you can go and look at previous videos that I've done. Some of the um, exercises may be the same, but nevertheless, still, it's strengthening our arms, strengthening our body, back, um, helping with our posture at the same time, um, getting rid of the belly fat and the belly weight and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is some warm-ups. So um, I always say shake your juices. So we're going to little, do a little shake a little bit. Little stretch, 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 just to warm up our body. And like I say, you may experience some type of kind of soreness. That's because you're using muscles that you don't never use and that has been locked away in for so many years and months. So those muscles tend to wake up when you're doing exercises and they be like, hey, what are you doing? And as time goes by and you exercise daily and regularly, you'll start to notice that you're no more pain and your muscles are okay. So we did a little bit of stretches. Now we're going to work on <clears throat> some uh, twists. So you want to put your arms like this. And I'll give you time. Now, I do understand that some people that are watching, you may be bedridden due to some type of kind of health issue, or you may be bedridden due to your weight. It's okay. If you need help, ask for help. If you have a home health nurse or a family member or a friend that can help assist you with your exercises, um, go ahead and get them. Get them to participate in your exercises with you because it's always good to have support at the same time. So you're going to hold your arms up like this. And we're going to twist to the right five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to twist to the left five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That was good. That was good. Now we're going to do some um, punches. So you want to hold your fist up like this and you want to punch. We're going to use the, do our left hand first. We're going to punch six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now your right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do both hands six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, that was a good workout, wasn't it? It felt good. It felt good to me to get back in exercising. You know, I've been sick and in the hospital, but now I'm well and everything. And 
I'm glad that you enjoyed this journey with me. Now, in the description, I put a link down there. Um, if anyone would like to donate um, dumbbells, it greatly appreciated, or exercise mat is greatly appreciated. And once again, I thank you in advance. So another exercise we're going to do, we're going to do some shoulder rolls. So we're going to roll back as you look at my shoulders. We're going to do some shoulder rolls. We're going to do back five, six, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to go frontward seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's exercise our um, neck a little bit and our head a little bit. Okay, so we're going to turn to the left eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to turn to the right eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's do some inhales and exhales. We're going to inhale, exhale. So what we're going to do is inhale through our nose three times and exhale through our mouth. So. Ready? Go. Ooh. Now that helps to calm calm our body down when we inhale and exhale. Now, I hope that you did it three times and you exhaled slowly. So, let's go back. We're going to do our neck back like this, nine times like this, and nine times forward like this. So, let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Now forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now some people call these the roll ahead. So we're gonna do rolly like this five times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So that's and work out our neck and our head and this part of your palate underneath your chin and your neck area, you know, to work out the kinks and, the, you know, the muscles up in that part at the same time. So now we're going to, you want to make sure you're sitting with you. Those of y'all that are in a bed, you want to make sure that you're in a good posture. Um, I do understand, you know, if you have to lift your bed up a little bit, you can go ahead and do that. Make sure you got some pillows behind your back so that you can sit up, you know, good in your bed. And those that are um, in a chair and you're sitting in the chair, because I do understand that some people are in a wheelchair. You want to make sure that you have a pillow behind your back for support it's always good to have a pillow behind your back for support those that are bedridden and um bound to um that are in a chair so we're going to do some more we're going to do some stretches so we're going to take our arms we're going to hold it like this and we're going to come down like this 10 times so if you need assistance ask for assistance for somebody in your household that can help you you ready go one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
9, 10. Yes, we did it. We did it. So each and every time that we do our exercises, we're going to pray, give ourselves some praises. Say, yeah, I did it. You know, it's good that we did it. I did it. Yay. So now we're going to do some more arm stretches. So you want to hold your arm up like this, your right arm like this. And we're going to go like this five times. One, two, three, four, five. If you need assistance, ask for assistance if you need someone to hold your arm up. Ready? Your left arm. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do both arms and make sure your tips is touching each other like this. And like I said, if you need assistance to hold your arms up, ask for assistance. Ready? Go. Five times. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, now we got a good workout on this morning. Yes, we did an excellent workout on this morning. Did we? I know we did. I know I did. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. That we can work out together. Yes, we can work out together and cheer each other on together. Yes, we did it. We took the steps to become healthy. We took some steps to exercise together. We took some steps to just... Get up and go and do. Yes, that's right. So each and every day, look for some uploaded videos with various exercises. Now, some may be the same, but still, it's good to, you know, sometimes you can do the same exercises, still do the same, get the same results. You're not going to lose weight magically. It's a process. So as we work on this process to lose the weight, we'll you'll begin to see the different changes in your body and your upper body. Remember, it's about your posture and tighten your abs and tighten up and tone up your arms and working out the muscles and waking the muscles up at the same time. So my name is Sharita Berry. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. Don't forget the link is in our description. If you like to donate dumbbells or exercise mat. Until tomorrow, guys. Peace, deuces, and namaste.